here we go welcome to the video thanks for watching this week we're going to do a little review of the brick buddy so it's a magnetic trail holder for those guys that don't know and we're going to find out if the brick buddy is indeed friend or foe so i'm strapping it up this weekend i'm going to give it a whirl and i'll give you my feedback so without further ado let's get into the video so brick buddy here it is magnetic trowel holder measuring 280 mil long by 140 mil wide it's around six or seven mil thick obviously in a trowel shape so your trowel sticks to it and it has a belt loop so you can thread your belt through it uh, with your work trousers so mike informs me that they have a more powerful version of this model coming out towards the end of the month and they are in fact releasing a smaller model uh, towards the end of the month so we will see how we get on we will see what the product is like and I'll give you my honest feedback this was purchased outright this wasn't a gift I purchased this via Amazon $49.99 uh, quite pricey uh, I think initially but I suppose it depends on the return on investment in terms of how long this actually lasts for it's pretty good quality to be honest it seems well made and it's very sturdy uh, but we'll see we'll see it in action so without further ado we're on a Saturday shift, back from one of the videos, I'll put the link up here. We're completing the houses, the joists are on, the block work's done, we've got to smash the stone in. We want to get it done Saturday and Sunday so we can lift the scaffold on Monday and get the plate lift done the following weekend. So, enough of my old waffling on. Brick Buddy Review 101, let's go. Right, here we go boys, Sunday shift. So me, my brother Carl, and brother Liam, my son Charlie, we've got Kyle in today and we also have Pacek. So all the block work is now done everywhere. So now we are going to bring up the stonework. So in my other video, when I went through the stone, I was explaining the coursing when you've got fours in. So here's a quick example here. Start with a three and a six, and then we go four, four, three, six, four, four, three, six. And I'll explain why down here. So this is our window height here. So we need to land on a course of threes here so our 140 sill sits here so we've had to work our course and all the way back down from here and start with a 3 6 a 4 4 a 3 6 a 4 4 to start with a 3 and finish on a 6 running into our sill and that is why you have to work out your coursing so if you go back and watch that video about the stonework and the coursing your sort of figure out why we course it that way so we work that out now so and then it's not going to suit every window because there's a couple of windows on different heights here but you can't you can't odds it all we've gone with 1200 window coursing because that's the majority of the size of the windows on this lift so we're going to try on a brick buddy today see how we get on it's on brick here it is magnetic tr trowel holder so we'll see how it goes uh had to buy a belt to put it in so that's one of the downsides to me. I don't like wearing a belt when I'm working. Uh, these are like a tracksuit type work bottom, which I prefer to wear. But anyway, it's on nonetheless. Quite handy with stonework because there is a little bit of messing around. Sometimes you need two hands to pick up stone. So we're going to give it a go and see how we get on. I'll give you my honest review. But yeah, the Brick Buddy is in position. There it is. So all strapped up, ready to go. And uh, we should see how things go. So without further ado, let's smash some stone in, shall we? Do any work today, Carl, or just no, dancing right. and vaping and that, mate? I do the most every week, mate. You always say that, but well, like I, I say, just because you say that, I don't mean it, 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 it doesn't mean it's true. Come on, yeah, right, just because you say it, it doesn't mean it's true, does it? Well, yeah, it's not really how it works. <laughs> what do you think, dream Pat? Dream team, maybe. Well, we've got a dream team, we've got it going on, haven't we? We've got a little, we've got a little, good little thing going on, mate. I'll spend the map, I'll spend the map, I'll Oh yeah. oh yeah. Who do you think is the um... Morto, boy, you can go anywhere, so. Yeah, just <laughs> doing some videography, aren't I? <laughs> Pat, who do you think is the best bricklayer out of the brothers? Oh, I can't say, mate. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> you see my next one, you get a trowel in his throat. <laughs> get the sack. <laughs> 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 Here's Chalk working by himself as usual. Just 
goes really fast and just don't really talk to anyone. Just does some most work. What well, I want to know is where you got your haircut. Down at the barbers. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fucking do that? <laughs> Progress update. So it's quarter to two. Let's see how we've got on. So that's the flank from this morning. All in. Jointed, brushed, cleaned off. And then we've pulled in this big long flank down here. And we've also returned the corner. So this is the section for the stone sill, which we can't put in because they're the wrong size. Three windows in this back. But all this stone is now in. It takes an age to join up. Um, and then Liam has returned this corner around here. Just got from brushing that off. And then we're gonna pull this chimney stack end in now. And that's about it for today. So there you go, there's the flank. Nice, eh? Right, that's a wrap. So I will give you my thoughts on a brick buddy as I give you the grand tour of what we've done today Sunday today it is Saturday it was too wet let's have a quick look shall we so this is the big long flank that we've done this morning it's what we've done first thing and then we've begun down the back there's four and two today and then we've gone all the way down the back so this gap here is for the stone sills so then we've gone down here all the way all the way down and then we managed to get this bit in here as well uh, big opening in here big three meter door this is a bedroom here lovely with a view out onto this beautiful field and then that end there has got a chimney similar to that house over there so uh, we've got the stone in and we've tied out for the chimney Let's have a quick look so there we go, so chimney stack is left down. Chimney stack is left down in here. Um, we've tied it out and then that brickwork returns round into stonework and then the blockwork comes up with the flues, etc. Uh, so we've just got the front to pull in and then that bit at the front squares up and is a little bit lower than the rest of the building, sort of drops off a bit. So my thoughts on the Brick Buddy, uh, I think it's a great product. I think it's quite expensive, 40, uh, 45 quid. Although I do think it'll last a while. I happen to think uh, it's quite big. Uh, I don't think it needs to be that big. I know Mike has mentioned that he's bringing out a smaller version uh, towards the end of uh, January. And also he said he's bringing out a more powerful one. I thought it was quite magnetic. Uh, I think potentially if it gets any more powerful then a couple of times I'm walking around the scaffold today, it did catch on the tubes and when I'm bending over in tight spaces and stuff. So I'm not sure whether a more powerful one would be better. I'm not sure if that'd be an improvement. Uh, I think definitely making it smaller and more compact would be better. But other than that, I think it's a good product and I would 100% use it. Probably wouldn't use it when I was doing brickwork, but today when I'm on stone and you need to double land things, uh, I think it's a great product. Product. Uh, so other than that, I'm uh, going home to watch the football. It's North London derby, and, Lon and London will be red. Mark my words. And I've also got steak and chips for dinner. So thanks for watching. Peace and love. See you next week.